everybody we are now at one of our favorite campgrounds may not be the greatest campground but it is our favorite mainly due to its location as you can see we are right across the street from the gulf of mexico quick walk to some big white sandy beaches so let's go check out cajun rv park So Cajun RV Park is a good sand park and they offer military discounts. I think some others discounts. So all that information is on their website. You can see the pull through spots here. A lot of these are nice and big. I've seen 45 foot um, tag axles in here, no problem. One nice thing too about these spots up front is they're a pretty level. As we get in the back, some of those spots can be three to four inches off level, oddly enough, even though we are right on the water and this is basically flat land. Here on the left, they just put this Christmas tree up today in this um, picnic shelter area and the fire pit here is propane and it is on every single night and there's always people hanging around, sometimes you know, singing, playing guitar, stuff like that. One drawback to this campground as we go over the speed hump is up here on the right and it's a small drawback up here on the right is the um, dumpsters there is a trash pickup here as the sign says trash pickup not provided so you're going to have to bring your trash to the dumpster yourself not a big deal for most people but there's now, only one in the park but that's the only one in the park exactly now a major issue with this park is coming up right here right across from these rv storage lot right behind those trees are train tracks and there's trains running constantly three four o'clock in the morning afternoon blowing the whistles the whole nine yards you got the campground another uh, picnic area here there's the swimming pool this big building on the right has a uh, guest lounge the office with a very small general store and also the men's and women's bathrooms and showers the laundry facility is really nice with washers and dryers and folding table. Yep. Also have sand volleyball court, a couple of pet walk areas, and we'll show you the uh, dog park in just a minute. Now, the sites here can be kind of cramped, and we're going to show you that in just a second here. And getting into your spot when the park is full can be challenging depending on where your spot is and what kind of rig you have as you can see here we have a lot of tightness here there's not a whole lot of room between some of these RVs now between this Heritage Glen and this reflection that's actually two spots between them where in most campgrounds I think it would probably only be one spot so you will not have a lot of room if you're up here in the front section. And this is where they mainly put long-term folks up here. So if you're going to be staying here for a couple of weeks or more, this is probably where you are stay. They put the short-termers up front uh, towards the main road, which is nice because it also is a, um, a little bit quieter because you have a, the buffer of all these RVs. Um, buffering out the train noise. What do you think, Talon? Talon agrees. <laughs> Another noise issue too is right here on the left, on the other side of this fence, is a arcade and go-kart track. So, especially on the weekends, in the summertime, you'll hear them all night long. So why has it been our favorite? Location. Location, friendly staff, helpful. And here straight ahead is the dog park. The dog park, the swimming pool, the fire pit. I mean, those, the fireplace. That's, those are the things that we really like about it. And the close proximity to the water. Yeah, it's so. the amenities the and the location. And when you look at other RV parks, 
at least the ones we've looked at in the area, this is the nicest one that we've seen. It wasn't a military campground. Sorry for the sun and shadows in here, but a couple of quick notes about this place. Um, they do offer Wi-Fi and cable. The Wi-Fi has been pretty good. The last time we stayed here, um, which was a, a couple of weeks ago, the Wi-Fi really wasn't good at all. The park was packed. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not. They also do offer cable TV and good selection of channels, I'd say. Um, we generally don't use that. We use YouTube TV, so we didn't even hook up the cable. But we've used it in the past. So have you ever stayed at Cajun RV Park? If so, we'd like to hear from you. Leave a note in the comments below. Let us know what you thought of this park. Tell us what you liked about it. Tell us what you didn't like about it. If you agreed or disagreed with anything we've said here on this call. If you have a nicer place in the area to go to, um, we'd love to hear about that as well because we come to this area a lot and we'd love to um, find a different um, campground to stay at if some of our old standby, so to speak, don't work out. So we'd love to hear what your favorite campgrounds are in the Biloxi area. So when you are looking for a park, what do you look for in the amenities? We like the swimming pool, we like the fireplace here, we like the close proximity to the beach and shopping and restaurants. What is it that you look for? Leave us a comment and let us know um, what you look for when you look for amenities for a park. Yeah. Also very good Verizon and AT&T signals here as well. So if you're using either one of those two carriers, shouldn't have any issues. So we hope you enjoyed this um, campground review. If you're ever in the Bluxy area, we highly recommend Cajun RV. We know more information about them. A link to their website is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you at our next adventure. See you there.